Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Okay, <clears throat> okay, so this is going to be a uh, Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon, and as well Taurus Rising. A weekly tarot reading October 21st to October 27th, a 2019. And bear just with me, guys, for a second here to shuffle the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we can jump right into it. All right, so the first card, which will represent a Taurus topic for the week, that is going to be the Two of Wands, followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges that uh, Taurus needs to overcome throughout the month, that is going to be the Ace of Wands, followed by the next one, which stands for the positive aspect of the week that Taurus is, um, is going to enjoy, I would say, that is going to be the Five of Pentacles, and then the last one here, which is the guidance the Tarot is offering to you, Taurus, that is going to be the Two of Swords. So very, very peculiar reading. Just give me a second here, guys, to gather up my thoughts, because we do have a couple of points of contradictory here into the reading, right? <clears throat> and I need to kind of like see how they do relate. Um, all right, so um, Two of Wands, which stands for the topic of your week is going to be accompanied. Oh, well, now that all makes sense. So it's going to be accompanied by the ten of wands um, formation. A active supporters. So what we do have on our hands here is, is that this week is going to be for you a very efficient in a sense of that <clears throat> you will have a no problem whatsoever attending to a certain tasks to a point that you will start thinking of yourself or for yourself, that is, <clears throat> that these tasks that you're working on, either career-wise or relationship-wise, are suddenly not enough. And you would want more. And you know you would want more projects. You would want more enterprises with your beloved one or with the uh, person of interest. You know, you, you, you just want to, you just want to have more busyness. And at that point, with these two cards, the, um, you are to come to realization, I would say, that there are certain aspects of yourself, you could say skills, knowledge, you know, or, or things that you enjoy in general, that are having a good milestone. They are sitting on a, a very well-developed place, but they certainly can be developed and uh, they can be developed further. And uh, for that reason, it does look like that this week it is... Uh, it is a week where you will try to find a way how to develop those skills further with, uh, like I said, new projects, new enterprises, and etc. etc. Now, the important thing here with uh, the uh, Two of Wands and the Ten of Wands, when they come together, it's all about power. Uh, power that you are to establish upon the situation. Or in other words, do not invest yourself, you know, your skills and efforts into enterprises and endeavors that you cannot have a power over. You cannot dominate. 
it is all about your domination it is all about that you need to set up the rules that's that's the whole thing this is how you are to end up beneficial from all that and eventually at the end a develop um, further develop your skills your love you know or your lucrivity and so on and so forth that will take time all right the, the, the whole process of development is not going to start and end in this week in this week it is more like a uh, experimenting this week is more like a uh, marking up your goals so it's kind of like yeah marking up your goals and uh, trying to deliberate or com contemplate if you will uh, are, those are those goals really worth it are you going to extract the uh, the rewards and the benefits for the uh, for the efforts that you're going to place in them so the challenge is going to be are is going to be the goals themselves we do have the ace of wands here and it is accompanied by the king of swords <clears throat> so the uh, formation it is a active uh, friends and uh, what is going to be the challenge is to find a worthy challenge for yourself a challenging goal now <clears throat> with these two cards it doesn't look like that any of the futuristic or the future um aims that you can place in front of yourself are going to seemingly cause any kind of struggle of your behalf pretty much take it that way you set you you set up for yourself a certain project two two hours later you pretty much figured it all out you set up certain enterprise into your social circle or into your um you know into your relationship it doesn't really matter uh which should kind of present you with thrill and excitement but as you have figured it all out it's it's no longer an exciting anymore so with these two cards the struggle for you or the challenge is to find this gaining full enterprise that will allow you to learn that will allow you to uh, exert a, a creative chaos in it and also we will allow you to as well um, develop further a, a certain not just only the current skills but uh, how do you say it accompanied with the current skills you are also to develop a new talents that you had no idea that you possess up until this moment so that being said <clears throat> while you need to dominate over your future goal as well there should be some tiny tiny room of surprises and that tiny room of surprises into this goal is what is going to keep your enthusiasm and is what is going to keep your eager to finish up this goal before you actually because you haven't figured it out yet all right and one more thing uh, that could be challenging here it is the overthinking now instead of transforming your thoughts into a very effective actions forward you know you may lose yourself in anal in analyzing the the situation in between you and your husband for example or in between you and your boss and etc etc so don't overthink it guys once you figure it out you know even if there is a tiny room for surprise just do your best in it and uh, that room of surprise once again is what is going to keep you up going so the next card that we do have here is going to be the uh, positive aspect of the week and that will be the five of pentacles and it is accompanied with the wheel of fortune now that is a very peculiar one uh, we do have a, a passive <clears throat> passive neutrals in this uh, particular case and the five of pentacles in this case is i do believe that we are talking about some sort of a, a help that it will be requested from you from which help you are to develop this you know kind of exciting uh, exciting goal of yours that will allow you to exert your creative chaos now this a request most likely is going to come most likely from a, a person who is experiencing a lot of difficulties it's not just only one difficulty that he needs to overcome but he probably struggles in every single field in their life in their career in their marriage for example or in their relationship i will not be surprised if they're single they may be as well a uh, living in uh, very close to poverty also and uh, it is it's gonna be it's gonna seem challenging you know to try to fix the mess that that person it's um it's presenting to you now what is the good thing about these two cards well you can get yourself involved just as much as you want to so once you kind of um 
reach a, a certain standpoint that you have no interest whatsoever, you can detach from it uh, feeling unobliged. Additionally to that, these problems may be at your turf as well. And if that's the case, then guys, it doesn't look like that those problems will impact your life meaning career or relationship to any kind of extent. It is like you will have that shield that bounces back any kind of exterior influence trying to infiltrate um, <clears throat> your, um, you know, your life before, before your life while you are trying to find that exciting goal of yours. And the last card that we do have is in regards to the guidance and that is the two of uh, swords accompanied with the strength cards so these are in an active friends and this guidance is only just for some of you uh, for those who uh, doesn't see exactly how this is going to manifest now these two cards are saying about a um I would say right moment of decision making because these two cards are pointing that if you are baffled what you should do from now on, in or, or in other words, what goal you should chase from now on. As the two of wands points that there are many, especially with the ten of wands, points that there are many goals, but which one worth it? It's you. You can't really say, at least at the very start, <clears throat> unless you are yet a a growing person in a sense of that you haven't reached certain maximum either into your career or either into your relationship. So what these two cards are pointing it is that it is all about enthusiasm first of all. So whatever you feel enthusiastic about this is what you need to do from now on. And if you don't feel enthusiastic about anything then you have to wait because <clears throat> If your decision is not dictated by the eager and by the enthusiasm and by that, that thrilling uh, emotion and that thrilling feeling that you are to learn something new, that you are going to face something interesting forward, it is likely that you are going to make a either pointless or a wrong decision. And while you wait, the longer you wait, the right choice is going to become more and more obvious for you. So that being said, Taurus, this was your weekly tarot reading, October 21st to October 27th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys, and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.